identify that LAMP stack for cloud and make sure we're a big part of this 400 million servers that are coming soon. And so, to talk about what one of these users is actually doing, we've got Time Warner Cable. They were a super user finalist in our Vancouver Summit. And they're now running OpenStack for quite some time and doing some interesting things beyond OpenStack. So to talk us through it, we've got the Engineering Director of Application Services, Tim Pletcher. Hey, Mark. Welcome, Tim. Thank you. All right. So what's your role at Time Warner Cable? So I, uh, I lead the team that uh, has recently stood up to provide a general purpose uh, um, multi-tenant container uh, runtime for the engineering groups, and then also point services like Elasticsearch, Kafka, Cassandra, things like that. Very cool. So we're talking a bit this morning about what's in different stacks. So what's in your stack? Well, as far as uh, that goes, um, Basically, it's Mesos, and, uh, and we came to that uh, decision after a fairly decent review. OK. And how, what's Mesos running on, or what, what yeah. happens below so, that? <laughs> so uh, yeah, so the, um, the, the good part about what we have uh, going for us is IIS. And so we came into and stood up the team able to take advantage of what the work that Jason Ruhl and his group had done um, over the past 18, 24 months um, mm -hmm. to get IS in place. And you know, as you know, if you go do physical provisioning in a large or organization, it can be a fairly long process. Daunting. So yeah. So we were able to uh, kick start and get going, and, uh, and away we went. Cool. So how long did it take, and you know, how, did you, how did your team kind of get mobilized? Yeah, so that's actually one of the, the cool things about it. We have a very small team. It's four engineers. And uh, we had the team fully populated internally um, mid-January and started to work. And then we'll turn on in production in two regions at the end of May. Wow. And so, so January of this year? Yes. OK, so yeah. four or five months, you're already rolling into yep. production? Yeah, absolutely. That's amazing. So how did you, how did you pull that off with a small team? Well, it's just a, it was a matter of um, folks that had OpenStack experience and, uh, and came from um, high-velocity shops. I brought some folks with me from a previous gig mm -hmm. um, where we had a fairly sizable platform. And, and it just all came together. And, and having all the plumbing of, of the IS side with the network and everything else made it go pretty fast. So we were pretty pleased. Cool. So in terms of that plumbing, you know, what are your, what's your wish list for that team that's running your OpenStack cloud? You know, how, how can they serve you better for what you want to do with the app side? Yeah, so you know, with Mesos, you'd probably prefer to run it on bare metal, um, okay. which is the, you know, the, the more common implementation mode. And so I, uh, I nag Jason on about a weekly basis for Ironic at this point. So that's okay. the next big thing from the OpenStack side that we're looking for. Cool. So Jason, wherever you are, give him his Ironic. The Ironic team will be, will be happy about that as well. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure you can meet the, meet the PTL while you're here if you haven't already. Uh, so you're combining different technologies. I mean, what's mm -hmm. the kind of philosophy behind that? Well, so you know, on top of Mesos, um, because we are a small team, we had to make some, some decisions around value-add components to that. So, so we ended up with Mesosphere um, as an add-on, or actually our primary Mesos provider. Uh, and then also Avi Networks and, and Core OS. And so that allowed us to pick and choose. So you know, you're going to find that you know, some things fit better for your team and, and your maturity level and, and how you want to work. And you can pick and choose on that and, and have a lot of success. OK, so you're working at, for, with different partners and yeah. looking for the ones that are willing to plug and play with, with other yeah. companies and not. Well, to your point, you know, when you're, you're talking, I mean, it is, it is becoming a, you know, it is the, the reality that you can find really great tooling mm -hmm. um, and you'll find things that really work for a scenario that you have and, and the ability in, to be that modular in your approach is really critical. Cool. Thank you, Tim. Thanks, Mark. Great for the update. Hey, yeah, have a good one. Good to hear it. Cool.